Switches make sure traffic is managed and directed efficiently in a local network. They support high bandwidth and low latency, making them ideal for environments that require fast and reliable data communication. When selecting a switch, there are many key factors to consider. The number of ports, the speed of the ports, power over ethernet capabilities, and so much more. A good place to start is to decide if you want a layer two switch for simple network connectivity or a layer three switch with advanced routing capabilities. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain the differences between layer two and layer three switches. Next. Both layer two and layer three switches manage the flow and prevent collisions, efficiently handling traffic within the local network. The fundamental difference is how they forward frames. Layer two switches use MAC addresses to forward frames within the same network. They help handle data efficiently reduce network congestion, are cost-effective, and can be simple to deploy. Layer 3 switches have the capabilities of both a Layer 2 switch and a router, but instead of MAC addresses, they use IP addresses to forward frames. This lets them route packets within the same network and between different networks. In addition, many Layer 3 switches offer advanced features that aren't available on a Layer 2 switch. Many come with advanced security features, such as access control lists to control and filter traffic based on IP addresses, protocols, and ports. These enhance network security by providing more granular control over data flow. They can often make routing decisions faster than traditional routers because they're optimized for high-speed data processing. Most offer quality of service features for the prioritization of critical network traffic. This is important if your company uses applications that require high bandwidth and low latency, like voice over IP or video conferencing. Some even support advanced routing protocols, providing failover capabilities in case of device or link failures. So in a nutshell, a layer three switch is more powerful and offers more features than a layer two switch. When comparing switches, typically a switch with a higher model number will have more features and advanced options, but will cost more and may be more complex to set up. It's a good idea to check each model to see which one fits your needs and budget best. If you have a small network, you might want a Cisco Business 110 unmanaged switch. These layer two switches are not configured and are essentially plug and play. Some models in this series have power over ethernet ports, so you can easily add and power devices to your network like IP cameras, phones, and wireless access points. The CBS220 smart switches are also layer two. A step above the 110, they have some configuration options, including some support for VLANs. Cisco Business 250 smart switches are layer three switches that provide static routing. They're designed to be cost effective while still offering essential features like VLAN segmentation and inter-VLAN communication. A step up from there is the CBS 350 managed switches. These offer a higher level of control than the 250 with custom configurations, remote management, and advanced features like VLANs, port security, authentication, and traffic prioritization. There are also some stacking options within this series. Cisco Catalyst 1200 switches provide layer three static routing capabilities. They can manage internal routing within a network by directing traffic between different VLANs using statically configured routes without the need for a dedicated router for basic network segmentation. Catalyst 1300 series switches provide dynamic layer three routing, allowing for efficient inter-VLAN communication without degrading application performance. They're designed to handle high bandwidth applications and technologies. Wow, there are so many options for managing data traffic. Which features are essential for your business now and in the future? Well, luckily that's up to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.